Well, hey there. Today, we have the Broncos theme team coming up. Tim Tebow is at the helm. We have Jamal Charles, who I actually did not know ever was a Denver Bronco. I know him as a chief, but it's okay. Brandon Marshall, who once said that Jay Cutler would be a league MVP. Cortland Sutton, Jerry Big, Ju uh, Barry, Jerry Big Booty Judy, uh, Version Vern, and the offensive line is a bunch of dudes who no one cares about, except for Graham Glasgow, who is a Detroit Lion legend. Over to the defensive side of the ball, we have Jamal Charles once again. This time, he's an outside linebacker. The DBs are actually, they're okay. They're actually pretty okay. I like Justin Simmons a lot. I use him on my actual team. Sam Adams, D-line is looking okay. And we go over to the special teams. You're going to see Riley Dix in my ass. And then Matt Gay. Uh, that is, he is a Seahawks kicker, but I think Matt Gay is going to be a staple of this series. Okay, I don't give up about the kickers. I'm sorry, all right? We have Dix in my ass right here. That's fine. Look, this team... We're going to ball out with them. I love Tim Tebow at the helm. Let's get it. Boys, uh, I was rocking the uh, the Broncos defense, but honestly, the Broncos defense is terrible. I'm done trying to do it. And, uh, yeah, he's running two running backs. I'm going to back him off, move him down. I almost wonder if he runs immediately. He does. We're going to – oh, hey, I'm recording this video. Um, is, is it, It's Br Brian, Brandon, the McManus, the kicker, who's my – for some reason, is a starting middle linebacker for me with a star underneath him. He is a Power Ranger Pokemon. He uh he got he got cut. I don't know. I can't believe it. He was. I mean, what? I mean, how many players in the league can play middle linebacker, one of the best users in the game, and and also can uh can kick a 60 yard or nail it right through the upright, strays an arrow. Oh, this guy's this guy's kind of down. Ooh, hey, that's mid zone KO, dude. That's why, dude. Zone KOs are so important. I love. Deep out zone KO, mid zone KO. Tigers are losing 3 0 to the Royals right now. I am going to keep my eye on that a little bit. Tigers are, are slightly in the playoff hunt right now. Slightly. Oh my gosh, that is not open. That is not a throw. That was a throw. We don't have deep out zone KO on Simmons. Uh, I, whenever I use accounts, shout out to Funski for this account, by the way. He gave us our last account. He's had a lot of fun team building. Um, I try not to. Ch yeah, see, he only has mid zone. I tried to change the abilities too much just because, like, it's not my team, and I feel like it's, like, kind of, I don't know. Uh, so I try not to. So we're just rocking his abilities. We'll see what we have in offense. Uh, I am excited to use Tebow God. Uh, Tebow is one of my favorite cards ever. Matt is one of my favorite NFL players ever. I was uh, I was 11 years old when he did his thing in, uh, in uh, oh, oh, Sam Adam pick. <laughs> Run, fat boy. Run, fat boy. <laughs> oh, it's all day. We're going to celebrate. Give me a good celebration. Ha, <laughs> ha. Look, if you're tired of losing games to John Madden football, my website, civil.gg, will give you the tools you need to start winning more games immediately. Between having the best ebooks online on both offense and defense, tips that are known by only the top 1% of Madden players, and a community of people just like yourself who are also trying to get better, code PREMIUM will get you 25% off, and you'll get instant access to literally everything. It's linked in the top description. I've been playing professional Madden for the past four or five years now. I've helped thousands of Madden players win more games, and I can help you too, again. Link, top of the description. I'll see you inside. Easy. That's D, baby. Was it a dot? We call it a dot. Let's uh, let's go for two. Uh, we're in the uh, we're in the Lions playbook, and we're, we're on mesh. Let's see. Boom. We got anything? We're gonna have Y. Bang. Ooh, Cortland. All right, boys. Let's lock up now. Come on. Let's make sure we don't get absolutely bombed. But you can see on that throw earlier. That's why you want a deep out zone KO. Cause like we. Oh, give me another D line pick six, please. I deserve it. We see why deep zone KO, because like if, if Simmons had that on uh on that previous play, uh like he caught that deep ball, it would have just got knocked out. I need to use our McManus every single time, by the way. No no excuses. Come on. Come on. I hope he breaks this tackle so I can hit stick him. Mmm. Mm, I wanna kick your hit stick bad. Anyone uh I've for some oh geez, good good little lays, good little lays. I for some reason have watched so when I was young, right, I'm twenty two now. When I was younger, I watched a lot of YouTube, right? I feel like a lot of people my age did. And we were like, I really feel like we watched a lot of the prime age of YouTube. I really, really do think so. Um, oh, picked off by McManus. Oh, 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 McManus. Dog. Dog. <laughs> Are you? F hey, I'm glad the fucking Broncos cut you, dipshit. Great job, dude. No, but uh, like, I feel like we had to watch a lot of golden age of the YouTube. And part of that was... um. Charlie the Unicorn. Now, I have not watched Charlie the Unicorn. Oh, my gosh. Oh, pick, ooh. I've not watched Charlie the Unicorn in about 10 years until about five months ago. 
Since then, I've watched Charlie the Unicorn roughly 67 times. And when I tell you, I think it may have some of the best soundtracks. Pick oh, another D-line pick. This time for Von Midler. We just tripped over. Okay. It has some of the best soundtracks I've ever heard. Let me. Have you heard the song Banana King? If I'm not mistaken, it goes something along the lines of Put a banana in your ear, a banana in my ear. Put a ripe banana right into your favorite ear. It's true, so true. Oh, let me add that version, Vern. Damn it. It, it just has crazy bops. Or it has uh, Leo Plorodon. Has the... Uh... I really don't know what I'm going on about right now, dude. I'll be honest. Here we go. Let's go. Pick a, pick a freaking play, dude. Pick a play. What are you doing? You letting coach call? You letting coach coach decide what defense we're running today? He's using Jalen Ramsey over on the left. Why not, man? Why not? Why not user him? User press. Honestly, good D. Good blocking. Good blocking. Tebow. Oh, my gosh. Tebow. Hey, you know what? Let's go five wide. Um, let's go empty tray stack right here. Empty tray stack. Fade out. Put a banana in your ear, a banana in my ear. Put a ripe banana right into your favorite ear. It's true, so true. Then you did it, did it, beer. I'm bringing back some, it's like, there's some people watching right now who have no idea what the I am talking about. But there are some people, and if this is you, please let me know so people in the comment section don't think I'm an idiot, who are getting crazy flashbacks to what I'm singing right now. It's amazing, dude. It really is. When I watch that thing again, it like re like juvenated everything, every part of me. Bang. Eh. Ah. Hey, Judy. You are the Banana King, Charlie. I am the Banana King. You are. I am the Banana King. Come on, Tebow, be the Banana King. All right, we don't have no Banana Kings on this team. Bunch of meat men. You know, back in the day, He's always tall about the milkman. Milkman this, milkman that. You had to wait for the milkman, right? Nowadays, I don't know about y'all. Oh, good. Hey, no, actually, that's flat zone KO. Nowadays, we don't have no milkmen running around, man. There's no milkmen anymore. You know what there are? Meat men. You know what? I got a meat man on speed dial. They used to call me the meat man back in the day, back in my prime. Now, I'm just a wash up has been. He really is making the correct read underneath every single time, though. Good tackle, good tackle. Uh, I'm going to start shading down. I bet he doesn't work his eyes up. Because these are on a lot of, like, mesh stuff. And so, like, I'm just going to shade down. Boom. Oh, he, he worked his eyes up. Good job. Uh, yeah, that's really what I thought he would not do. What if I do this, son? Okay. I'm just going to double flat him. He's doing a really good job, I feel like, honestly. Like, no, no hatred from me. Oh, see, he might be... Uh, I don't know what he's doing here. Does he run draw? No. Don't, don't throw what I think you are. Ding, 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 ding. Meat man's here. Meat man. Let's see. Does he quit out? GG's. Next game. Cue it up. Game two against Dark Panther 1207. Let's hope that Dark Panther 1207 gives us a little bit more fight than the previous opponent did. Uh, but we'll see. And he's running down. Oh, oh, oh. He's bringing his safeties down. Oh, my gosh. He actually is going to give us some fight. I. He's catching an inside zone. Jamal, show me, show me that, that Bronco in you, my boy. Let's go. Boom. Oh, he actually got kind of... He, he was about to shoot that run. Why? Why was that good run defense? Um, okay. Let's do... Um, I'm a little bit scared low-key. I'm playing someone who actually looks like they might be pretty good. At least to say I'm good D. Got B. Good job. Tebow, we get that off. Tebow's slow release is scary, but we're able to get that off. Good. I'm gonna go on conservative, and honestly, if they're not gonna, if he's not gonna pinch his line, I need him to show me he's willing to pinch his line, or else he's gonna get QB draw down his mouth. I'm gonna stuff it in this dude's throat, like just straight up. I don't know who Dul Dul A is. I don't know who this dude is, but whatever. Boom. I my I have terrible stick. I have the best stick actually. Great job. Let's go. Come on, hey, hey. You don't mess the dog. You about to get the you about to get Tebow up your mouth. Come on. Come on, stick it to him, Tebow. Stick it to him, Tebs. Okay. Come on, Tebs. Back to the line. Back to the line. Let's go fade out. Yup. 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 
Let's go. Boom. Okay. Okay. Not liking what I'm seeing. Not really seeing anything, truthfully. Not seeing much of anything. Get up. Get away. Oh, I need to get away right there somehow. I need to remember to flip everything I do as well. So let's go here. And yeah, because he's a left-handed QB, it's going to be a little bit harder to... Or it's, you got to flip like all your play action. You got to make it come from the left side or else it's not very good. Am I crazy for thinking that he's giving me a... See, I just don't know if he is. I'm going to run post slant, though. Dot, dot, dot. I was right. Oh, why could I push that more? Oh, dang. I almost wonder if he's moving that dude in outside third. He's moving him down into an outside third as well. Okay. Well, we're going to have to max pro this. Shoot. Good D. Eh. No, no, I forced it. Oh, my gosh. I thought I pushed it. Oh, I thought I pushed that thing. That would have been annoying. Snap at him. Come on. Boom. Dot. Ah, I pushed that one. Dang it. I'm really doing the same thing. I don't think... Yeah, he's going to try doing that. Wow. Wow. Jeremy Chin just got up there. Holy crap. Okay. I mean, that's... I thought I could just highball over him, honestly. That's on me. Wow. Uh, there's a chance that he uh, runs the ball. I mean, he has flash. I just want to play good run defense right here. Yep. Yep. Yep, we're good. Tackle's good. Good, good, good. Best run D in the game, boys. Hey, don't worry. Hey, McManus, dude, I know you're cutting all, but that D still stands tall if you catch my drift. Let's go. Uh, boom. I need to move my dudes. I'm kind of playing, like, I'm a little slow right now. Good D, good D, good D, good D. Okay, we did not. I really need Simmons to have deep out zone KO, genuinely speaking. Ah. Uh, let's go. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. I'm very worried about another halfback draw or something. Uh, nah, it looks like he is not going to do that. I'm pass gunning. Good, good D. Now, oh, what am I doing? It's such terrible D. It's obviously bad D, but he, he pushed it. Thank you. He pushed the ball a little too far. It's uh, like there's only, he can only really attack that deep right sideline from this. He's just going to go back to the same idea, which I don't blame him, but. Boom, boom. We should be good now. This should be good D. Let's see. Boom. Max proing. Good. I'm stuck. Good D. Perfect. Perfect D. What was he throwing? I don't know what he could have possibly been throwing. I, that show is going right to me, the Banana King. Move him down. Move him down. Boom. Let's back him off. Pass commit. Actually, I want to use our McManus here. And if he wants to call, that, that can't be a throw. Pick it. Pick it. Sam Adams. He leads the team in picks. He leads the team in picks. He's a dog. The meat man. Come on. Let's go. Post slant. Post slant's the call. Post slant's the call. Here we go. Hut, hut. What do we got? Give me something. Give me something. I don't know why I threw that. That's the worst. Because I'm a dog. I'm a dog. Come on, Brandon. Beep, beep, motherfucker. Who's that? Oh, what's that? Look outside your window. It's a motherfucking meat man. Come on, hut, hut. Bang. Well, he, I, I believe that's Calvin Johnson, too. He should not be on the field. That is not even who our third wide receiver is. Okay. Bunch tight end. Okay, move him down. Move him down. Back old buddy off. And we're going to do this. Yeah, we're going to do this. Good. I like this a lot. Come on, McManus. Come on, McManus. What's he doing? He's making a lot of hot routes. I mean, that's a lot. Ah, not, not a great... Uh, Oh, oh, that's D. That is D, actually. Jeez. Hey, boys, what I found out, boys, I'm going to drop some knowledge. I'm big on, throughout life, you know, most of us, my, my, most of my audiences is uh, male, right? And as males, we have to learn manly things at certain times, right? And it just, it just comes with life, I think. Mine, mine. Oh, that's a Brian McManus pick. Come on. Oh, yeah. Stiff it. Stiff it. Into the end zone. Come on. First career touchdown right here, baby. That's us. That's all us. So the time that I came to this realization that I had to start learning how to do man stuff is, and mind you, man stuff can be like, you know, because someday, you know, you might become a dad, you might become a husband or a boyfriend, you know, you have to, you have to take care of, you know, maybe your family, something, right? And so there's a list of things you have to do. 
when I was about 14 years old, I was in a science class and we were blowing up balloons for some science experiment. All of my friends around me were able to blow up their balloon and tie the knot, right? Tie it together. I could not tie the balloon knot together. And my friend, man, they saw me struggling. They said, Kenny, hey, do you want us to, do you want us to just tie your, tie your, tie your balloon knot for you? And at that moment, I never thought of this before. But I'm like, no, because there's going to come a day, damn it, that I'm going to have a kid and he's going to blow up a balloon and he's going to say, dad, I need you to blow up a balloon. And what the fuck am I going to do? Say, sorry, your dad can't blow up a balloon. No, I'm not a pussy. So I learned how to blow up that balloon. And the reason he's punting, this guy's punting down 13. Okay. And the reason I'm telling you this today, boys, I recently got into grilling and I am going to drop some knowledge of how to grill the perfect. So when you go to the store, uh, buy a sirloin center cut, sirloin top cut center cut steak, something like that. I'll say something along those lines, right? Uh, usually they come between a pound and half a pound, all right? And there'll be one steak or like two little steaks in there, but it'll be around that weight, okay? Um, now, the thing with it, is you gotta set it down, right? You gotta, you gotta uh, take it out of the, th of the packaging. You gotta let it kind of sit for about 15 minutes or so. You gotta, you gotta season it, right? I put salt and pepper on mine. Everyone has that. You're gonna season it after that, and then you're gonna let it sit for about 15 minutes. Then you're gonna go out to the grill, right? If it's a gas grill, I don't know anything about charcoal. Make sure the top is down, and you're gonna turn it, just tur turn it up. Turn that shit up, okay? You're gonna preheat that bad boy to about, uh, uh, about 500. Once it hit about 500 degrees, you're gonna place your steak on the flame, right? In the, usually in the middle of the grill. You're gonna put it on that flame for a minute and a half. That's called searing it, okay? You're gonna do that for a minute and a half both sides. So now you're at three minutes, okay? Then you're gonna take it off, right? You're gonna take it off of that part of the grill and move it down to the bottom of the grill is usually where I put it because that's away from the flame. And then, good dot, good dot. Uh, you're gonna move it away from the flame for a minute and a half both sides. Oh, I'm sorry, for a minute both sides. So minute and a half, minute and a half, then minute, minute. You're gonna take it out, let it sit for five minutes. The juices are gonna come out and you will have a very nice steak. That steak right there will cost you between six to eight dollars, give or take. And that right there, make that with some minute rice, right? Minute rice costs you about a dollar per, like maybe two dollars. And right there, boys, right there, just like that, for about $10, we have a really, really good and healthy meal. Now, is that the cheapest good, healthy meal you can make? No, but it is a good, cheap, healthy meal. And grilling is a thing where, as a man, you have to learn how to grill at some point. I think you do, all right? And it's something that I've, I've decided to start learning now. And uh, we're out of there. Bro oh, I was gonna say Broncos Nation. That's rad. But yeah, no, that's what I've been doing recently. Now, you will hear other people disagree with me. I'm sure I'll also get some comments of how to grill. Uh, and that, that by grilling is not the best way to do it. But you know what? It tastes pretty damn good to me. So respectfully, shut the fuck up. Boom. Good. Now, I need to learn. I know how to grill burgers, but I've only done it a few times. I've cooked steak the most. Uh, I, I don't really even want to learn how to grill chicken, to be honest with you. Like, a lot of people do it, I guess. But, like, I don't know. I just don't care, too. Dot! Big booty Judy! Uh, this guy was, like, I mean, he's running the meta. And, like, he's, I don't know, I thought he was a good player, honestly. I mean, shame on me, maybe. Dot. Oh, oh, hold on to that. Dang it. Tigers are down four to one right now. I mean, dude, we are two games back from 500, I think, or maybe three. If we can just, like, win game. I mean, I just watch our... It's a full fucking count, dude. He just took a strike down the middle. Just took it. You make millions of dollars, Nick Matone, Matan. You make mil You're a millionaire. All you're supposed to do is play baseball. How do you take that? It was actually... It was a... It was a, a it was a 3-1 uh, count. My fault. They updated the ticker very fast. I thought he struck out. 3-2 count right here. Swing and a foul ball. His helmet came off. I hate my team. Um, it was a really sad uh, sports season for me this year, boys. Um, wow, that, that didn't get knocked out. Uh, or basketball season. Pistons went 16-16. Uh, and or I think I believe it was 16 and, and 66, I believe. I might be wrong. I, I might, might have been 17 wins. Regardless, not a great team, year for the Pistons. And Braun came so close to silencing the haters, but he lost. I mean, I mean, it's fair. 
Oh, that is not... Dude, I mean, we got to get a knockout there somehow. He's running... I wonder if Dark Panther might be a Civil GG member. He's running a lot... You know, he's actually running my stuff across the board. Yeah, like, this is something that I do. And he's running my defense as well. Boom. Huh. He might be. He might be. I wonder. Going to trips really fast. Yeah, he's definitely a Civil GG member. Um... Or, or he watches me play one of the two. But, I mean, yeah, we're good. We're on that. Ooh, what are you? Ooh, what is that? What is that? Oh, my gosh. Touchdown. Okay. I also have to wonder if if um, if um Deep Out Zone KO would have knocked that out. Okay, ready? Uh, let's do this. Boom. Let's see if we can't get a bomb really fast. Oh, wow, we actually have Y. Oh, my gosh. Come on, catch it, catch it, catch it. Oh, my. Oh, deep out zone KO. Dang it. All right, he's in three deep, so we're going to run the ball. Ah, I need that block right there. I'll let it go. Good half. I got to assume he's going to keep on passing, so I'm honestly going to spread my D-line. I'm going I'm to pass him it and make him have to actually, like, uh, really go. Is this really? Is he going back to this bomb? That's See, I don't think that's a bomb, really. Huh. I mean, it must be. I mean, hey, Miguel Cabrillo just got a, a got a single. Let's go, Miggy. Let's go, Miggy. He has had a terrible season, but it's his farewell tour. So, man, I watch. I've watched Miguel Cabrera for the past. I mean, I'm since I was like eight, so 14 years. Jeez. Let's go. Boom. What we got? What we got over the middle. Is he going back to? That's not a throw. No, no, no. Pick it, pick it, pick it, pick it. Hey, dude. Hey, our, a D tackle and a kicker have all of our picks. Oh, get out, baby. Come on. And I believe he is quitting. GG's. Yes. The Broncos theme team on the theme team tier list are going to land in the B tier, actually. I think they're getting the benefit of the doubt because there was some good vibes and some funny stuff happening in this video. I think they should actually be T or, wow, C. We'll put them in B right now. Subscribe.